Thank you very much. We've got to go. Now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. than I expected. Yes, we must find a way to save this village. True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them all out one by one. Oh, so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, we will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers.
There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Ferdinand von Eyre. Stay focused. Come <laughs> on. 
the one giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the Librarian.
Thank you. Better keep up. Tomas, what are you doing here? Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all! What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> You were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Muck to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. Fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is.
this is good for something. Battle, a chance to grow. The glory of progress.
You see? I grasped it! How lovely! Tomas! No, Solon. I will stop you. What? If you insist on turning your blade against me, then expect no mercy. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. I must go. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. We let him get away. I'll survey the village. There may still be enemies in hiding. Thank you. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. that armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor! Have you seen Lady Edelgard? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once.
Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. I really believe we did all that we could. Gerald said the same thing. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so-called Flame Emperor appeared in Remire Village as well. Hubert told me that you spoke with him. Really? Is that what you want, Professor? That makes sense. It's hard to trust someone without knowing who they are, or how they're connected to all this. Even if he wants you as an ally, his objectives are still unclear. If the Flame Emperor truly wishes to make use of your power, perhaps someday he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you'll excuse me, Professor. You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows, their identities a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all! I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the Monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, 
Please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. So this is the goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go! Part 1. White Clouds. Ethereal Moon. The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Sorry to trouble you. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. No, there is nothing of value in that building. We do not yet know what the intruder's objectives are. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it.